Hi guys, it's Liz again. I'm here to share my garbage with you. So, welcome to my first empties video. Um, I don't have anything too excite exciting, but this is what I have gone through in the past couple of months, I guess, is when I started collecting. Um, I have some hair things first. So, this is the Dove Hair Therapy Styling Care Strength and Shine Extra Hold Hairspray. Um, there's nothing like super special about this. It's just cheap. You can find it at Target. I love Target. Um, it doesn't do anything specifically for curls, but I find that this one's good. I can spray it all over, help scrunch my hair a little bit to get the natural curls going and I just let my hair air dry most of the time. Um, this one, as long as you don't put too much on, it doesn't make your hair crunchy or anything. Um, so I have been repurchasing this for a while. I bought another one that I have in my bathroom right now. Awesome. Next, I have the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Extraordinary Oil Curls Nourishing Shampoo. It says in one wash, Renourished curls daily care for very dry curly hair. I Wouldn't say that I have dry hair. I don't really get oily hair either, but I Hated this. I actually got sent um, Three products from this line specifically from influencer Hated it. I used it all because I hate to waste things. I don't like to fill up landfills but did not like this at all. I usually use Pantene products and there's nothing against L'Oreal because some of my favorite makeup products are from L'Oreal. But if this did anything, it made my hair drier. They sent me the shampoo. I guess I didn't save any, any of the other things, but I got the shampoo, the conditioner, and then there was like a hair mask or deep conditioner in a tub. And they sent me all three and I did not like them at all. I used them all up just to use them and get rid of it so they didn't go to waste. But I would absolutely not recommend this. It did not help moisturize my hair at all. If you have dry hair, I would stay away from this. Next up, I have the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water. Um, this one... I mostly use this to get off leftover makeup. So I start out by going in with the Clinique Take the Day Off. Um, I forget which one it is. It's not the balm. I'm not sure if it's considered an oil, but it's very liquidy. You have to shake it so that it mixes together, and then I dump it on a cotton pad and wipe my mascara off because I always wear waterproof mascara. Um, after I do that, I take a makeup wipe, remove the rest of my makeup, and then I'll go in with the Simple Micellar Water and get any leftover residue, get that oil off my eyes and everything, and get the last little bit of mascara off. Um, I also use this sometimes in the morning because I don't want to tug on my eye area too much because I know that's bad and stretches your skin and whatever. So sometimes I end up missing mascara or because it's waterproof, it's so stubborn and it doesn't come off. So I'll wake up in the morning and have little black mascara in my lines um, on the eyelids underneath my eye. So I'll just take a Q-tip, dump some of this on, and then gently rub it underneath my eyes to get that last little bit of mascara off. But... um I do like this. I've repurchased it. I do want to try the um, Garnier micellar water, and I know I've seen some other micellar waters floating around because that's been a pretty popular type of product, but I've been going back to that one because it does work pretty well um, for me. Going along with skincare, I have the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleansing Toner. So I don't have terrible acne, but when it's that time of the month or just whenever my face decides to, I will get some acne. So, I've been trying some skincare products to try to tame my face and keep the pimples away. 
Um, this so far has been my favorite toner. Um, it doesn't burn my skin. I actually like, this is probably super strange, but I like how it smells. It doesn't like have a fragrance. I don't think it's supposed to. I just like how it smells. Um, but I do notice a difference if I don't use this. Um, the way I use it, I'll wash my face, like I said, um, with the micellar water and everything else. And then after my face is clean, I'll take a cotton ball and wipe this all over my face and sometimes like down my neck a little bit. And that seems to help clear up pimples and prevent them. Um, Sometimes I will use this in the morning as well after I clean my face, like before I put on my moisturizer and everything. But um, if I start getting too dried out or I see like my skin flaking in spots, then I'll just use that one at nighttime. So this is from Bath and Body Works. It's a stress relief eucalyptus spearmint smoothing body scrub. I think pretty much everyone I know likes the eucalyptus spearmint scent. I think I just got some on my nose because there's still a little bit in there that I couldn't squeeze out. Um, but this one's really nice because it's kind of creamy, um, but then it has the little beads inside. It wasn't too abrasive, so I really liked this one. Um, I've worked at Bath and Body Works, so I have way too much Bath and Body Works stuff, but out of all the scrubs I've tried, this was one of my favorites so far. This. I am so mad that I like this. This is the Caudalie Res Atrol Lift. Laugh at me all you want. That was terrible. Um, but this is the Eye Lifting Balm. Comes in a little light pink bottle. Um, this is actually not the full size. I received this in my Sephora play box and I've just been getting into using eye creams and um, trying to take care of my eye area because I do have really bad dark circles and I'm starting to get some more lines in the eye area and they say you should start, you know, taking preventative measures in your 20s so that you don't get as wrinkly when you're old. So um, this one, I can't say that I've noticed anything with lines, but I have these like little tiny bumps where I have my dark circles and I have no idea if there's a name for them or if they're caused by anything. My dermatologist never said anything about it. Um, it's not like pimples or anything, it's just the texture of my skin. This stuff, actually helps and like smoothed it out a little bit like I still had them but this definitely smoothed the area so if I can see a noticeable difference by using this I I would hope that it's going to help with wrinkles and even if it doesn't repair them I would think it would help prevent them so I actually had a bad experience with a different eye cream that I got a sample of in something my mom got me for Christmas. Um, and that's why I started getting like more lines under my eye recently. And I had already used all this up. So I went to Sephora and asked if I could have a sample of it because I was like, okay, a full size bottle of this? Hello, Cooper. Everyone, this is my puppy, Cooper. He's very nosy. All right, you had your five seconds of fame. Now get out of here. <laughs> Cooper, go sit. Come on, sit. If I don't make him go lay down, he's going to be licking my face. Don't jump on the bed. I normally let him sleep on my bed, and there's normally a blanket, but I didn't want my videos to be super washed out. So I folded it up so he's not allowed on the bed right now. Sit. Lay down. You stay. So anyway, a full-size bottle of this, I forgot to mention, is like $63, I think. It's ridiculous. And I so did not want to like this. I did not think I would like this. And it's expensive. 
So when I had that bad experience with the other eye cream, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Sephora, ask for a little sample because they gladly gave me a little, like one of those little tubs of it. And I was like, hopefully this can fix what happened with that other eye cream. Um, and we'll see if I still love it as much and if it really does help. And unfortunately, I love it. I'm so mad that I have fallen in love with this product. Um, I know for a fact that I will be purchasing the full size. I'm trying to wait until there's another VIB sale so that I can hopefully get 20% off because it's a very expensive product. But um, this little one, which I believe, yeah, it's 0.16 ounces. This was a really good product for a Sephora Play Box because this lasted me months. So if I can wait and stretch out that sample I got from the store, hopefully I'll last until I can buy the full size at a discount. Another face product. Um, this was one from the sample box. It was like a skincare sampler that my mom got me from Ulta. It was um, something she got me for Christmas. This is the Clarins, dogs, this is the Clarins Multi-Active Jour SPF 20. It's supposed to target fine lines um, and it's an antioxidant day cream and this one has broad spectrum SPF 20. It says it's for all skin types. I liked this one. It wasn't like super amazing but I didn't hate it. It doesn't really have a fragrance. It just kind of smells like a cream, if that makes any sense. But I thought it was nice. It was decently moisturizing. I mean, it's winter. My skin's very dry, which speaking of that, I need to put some hand cream on. But um, I think this one did a pretty good job. Am I going to go out and purchase it? No, not right now. I can get something pretty similar from the drugstore, but it was a nice sample. Another type, yes Cooper, hello. <laughs> Another type of day cream was this L'Oreal Revital of Bright Reveal Brightening Moisturizer, which has broad spectrum um, sunscreen SPF 30. So this is that one. Now this, I believe was quite expensive. If I remember correctly, I believe I spent like $17 or so on this. Um, this one, I'm sad I can't smell it. I loved how this smelled. It's very citrusy, so if fragrances bother you on your face, I'd avoid this. Um, I don't really think it's worth the money. It's called um, Bright Reveal, and it's part of their Revitalift line, which I think is supposed to target, like, um, wrinkles, lines, scarring, that type of stuff. But this one was advertised as helping to um, brighten and kind of help erase um, darkness because I have some like hyperpigmentation from some of the acne that I was talking about. Um, I didn't really see any difference from using this. It was more of a thin moisturizer and I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. I mean, I really loved the smell. It was a very nice orange, like, citrusy scent, but for, like, almost $20, and it, it didn't last me long. Usually it takes me forever to get through moisturizers, but I went through this in a few months, so there wasn't much in here, and I just don't think it's worth the cost. This one looks kind of gross because something must have spilled in there. But this is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Um, it says it has honey, a natural antiseptic, gold flakes increases skin radiance, and collagen for smoother skin. Now, by no means do I think there's real gold in here. Um, and I could do without the actual gold flecks. Um, if I see one of them on my skin after I use this, I usually pick it off because I don't want random gold sparkles on my face. Um, but most of the time they just kind of disappear, which I like. But this is by far my favorite primer. Um, it's rather expensive for drugstore because NYX is a drugstore brand. 
Um, I believe these are usually $16.99 everywhere I've seen them. Um, when I buy this, I try to get it when Ulta's having a buy one, get one half off sale for NYX products. But um, this is very good if you have drier skin. I actually have, like, my skin was very oily and I'm kind of transitioning into normal combination and almost sometimes just straight up dry skin right now probably because it's winter but for the past few months my skin has been pretty much normal to um, combination but I've loved this it's just very clean feeling I know some people don't like a sticky feeling primer this one when you first put it on before it dries it can feel a little tacky but I personally like that and I highly recommend that you try that primer out. This is another favorite. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have this one in 102 Shell Beige and it's supposed to have a demi matte finish and it says it's supposed to last up to 24 hours. Now I know this one is like super hyped up. Um, they recently came out with their other like full coverage one. I haven't tried that. I did try their um, Pro Glow and because I normally had oily skin I was afraid of that one and when I did try it it was a little too shiny for me. I have to try it again now that it's winter and my skin's more dry but this by far is my favorite foundation. Um, recently since I am dry it's getting a little too dry for me right now I usually use a hydrating setting spray with this um, so I've been using the Mario Badescu like rose water or something setting spray um, I don't even know if it's technically a setting spray but it's very moisturizing so after I put my foundation and everything on I spray that all over and then I don't get as dried out just a few more things I have the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara in Waterproof. I pretty much always wear waterproof mascara because um, if I don't, mascara usually melts off and my eyes are really watery and it just doesn't look nice. So um, this one was okay. Um, it did do a good job separating my lashes and everything, but it, I have long eyelashes already and I need more volume than anything else, and this one just didn't give me as much volume. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara in Black Moon. I got this in a Sephora 500 point reward. That's what the wand looks like. But there's definitely product left in here. I just hated it that much. Like, I don't even remember because it's been a while since I tried this but I put it on one time and I was like ew and threw this right into my collection of empties because I just I don't know if it's the formula the wand a combination of both but I did not like that one at all this one is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara this one I liked um this is just a little sample I got somewhere that's what the wand looks like. Now this one wasn't waterproof so I didn't reach for it all the time. And the reason I'm throwing it out is because it got a little too dry and it doesn't look nice without getting clumpy anymore. Um, but this one was nice. It wasn't as volumizing as I like my mascaras. It did give me a lot of length. But um, it was nice. I don't spend a lot on mascara. I always get drugstore and I like my drugstore a lot better than these high-end ones but that one was nice I used it and last thing in here I have the Anastasia clear brow gel um, this one I got I think like as a Sephora hundred point reward um, there's still some in here but I was starting to have trouble getting it out. And the other reason I'm throwing it away, I don't know if you can see, but when I would put it on, it was starting to like turn brown from my brow product, which kind of grossed me out. And I was like, I need a new one. And then I ended up getting a sample in 
a Sephora or an Ulta bag that I got with a purchase. So um, I'm tossing this one. I do like it. Um, I'm getting into testing out some other brow gels to see if I can find a drugstore one that I like as much as this because this is pretty much the only brow gel that I've tried. Um, people like it because it says it glues your brows in place. I like natural makeup. Like what I'm wearing now is pretty much almost an everyday thing minus the eyeshadow I have. That's not necessarily what I'd wear every day. Um, but this one can get a little crispy for me, if that makes sense. Like if you spray on too much hairspray and your hair is kind of like crunchy. Um, when I just brush this through like two strokes through my whole eyebrow, it gets a little crunchy. So normally what I do is I'll brush this in and then take a random spoolie from, um, a brow product that I don't really use. I just use the spoolie on the end of it. Um, and I'll brush through with that because it's clean and doesn't have any brow gel on it. So I'll brush that through and then wipe it off so that I don't have as much product and my brows look a lot more natural, but they don't kind of go over wherever they went throughout the day. So that is all I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing about my garbage. And if you have any recommendations about how I can make some of those products work better for me, please tell me down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can get updates whenever I post any future videos. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.